Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You deserve to know the truth. You deserve to know the truth. You will not believe they left because of what they heard. They left because of what they heard. It always baffles me how people um, get discouraged because of what they hear, even after they had a conviction. It always baffles me how people go against their conviction and 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 um you know and adhere to what they heard but just when god is giving me this prophetic word just when i'm releasing the word and now god is telling me that it's the same thing that happened to adam adam had an instruction from the lord and he was convinced about the instruction but eve came and gave him a contrary thing and he adhered to it. Why? Because he could see it physically. He could relate with it physically. And that is what has probably happened. This person was convinced about you. They were convinced you were the one for them. But when the goings got tough and they started hearing certain things about you, they, they, they had to stop. And they got scared. They got scared and they, they, they retort. I mean... They had to rethink if it's what they wanted. And unfortunately, their conviction was not strong enough to hold them at that time. Their conviction was not strong enough to sustain them. That is why they left. There are some people who really believe that your past is behind you. And whatsoever you did in the past is in the past. But there are others who think your past can still haunt you into the future and that is why they can easily give up on you based on what they heard about your past but one thing i, I, I want to say is that when someone is for you when god assigns someone for you they can put up with you they can manage your past they can understand that your past is in the past they can they can work with you as who you are right now what you represent right now if someone coming in your life right now cannot stand your past, then probably they were not really, really meant to be with you. The, the fire always, the storm always comes to try people's tenacity. The storm always comes to try relationship. It was a storm. What they heard about you was a storm. But now, how much do they believe in you? How much do they believe in your relationship? How much do they believe in where you are going? Your past is behind you and your future is ahead of you. If they cannot embrace that glorious future and forget about the past. Apostle Paul speaking, he says, forget all that is behind. I press on towards the mark of the high calling. Your life is in front. Whosoever cannot stand your past and embrace your future probably was not even meant to be in your life in the first place. Hallelujah. And I pray that God is going to help you, heal you to go through this process and that God will send you someone who is deserving of that glorious future with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.